Uh, just you're up 22 there, or whatever it was. I mean, you said before the game when they scored 100, they're, they're kind of hard to beat. So, uh, what happened after that? Getting that uh, nice lead? Yeah, they kept playing. We didn't. Um, and so, um, I thought there in the third, they had scored, uh, I think, six points uh, for the first maybe six minutes. And after I said that to one of the coaches, they ended up scoring uh, 54 points and a half. So um, we, we just stopped defending. Um, give them credit, they kept playing. And when we did, and we kind of had a couple injuries, and then um, we had to make some subs that guys had been sitting for a while, and we just didn't score there in the third. And they did, so. Um, but it's a good win to start the homestand um, against a team that's not going to quit. And that just is a great example to give credit to their coach. They keep, they keep playing. Uh, do you have any extra information on either of those guys? Huh, no. Huh. I, 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 we won't have anything until tomorrow. When Luke is clearly frustrated with how he's shooting from three, how do you handle it as a coach? Um, you know, do you talk to him? Do you give him pointers? Do you let him just kind of Running out himself. How do you how do you feel about that? Yeah, he's just got to shoot. He he's played this game. Um, it's not always going to go, and you just got to keep shooting. He's got great looks, um, but he just he's got to keep shooting. Um, and then for any shooter, um, I think we've seen the best shooter in the world um, not make all the shots in Curry. Um, it happens. They just keep playing, and they find other ways to help the team win. And that's what he did tonight. I mean, he had another triple double, which is a, kind of remarkable because he's not shooting the three well, but he can do other things, and that just shows his growth. Was, was Porzingis sitting down the stretch just a matter of him pushing up to the uh, number of minutes you want to play at this point? Yeah, well, like I said, I'm not going to get him over 30. And so um, that was one. Two, I wanted to look at uh, some different uh, people out there. I want to see Josh and close ball game, how he was going to handle it. So um, KP had, he, he sat, so I wanted to look at different things and we got the opportunity to do that tonight. It looked like when KP came off, I guess it was the last time he checked out, he was like through the ball, was was kind of frustrated. You, what, what was going on there? Did you have any sort of insight to what was, what was frustrating? Uh, I, I didn't see it, so I, you would have to ask him. I, I didn't see that happen, so. Uh, I can't give you any insight. I can see that happen. So if you ask him, he'll give you an answer. Maybe frustration. I, I, that, that's all I can guess. Jordan, what's going through your mind in that last two phases? About 30 seconds there, where they a few times cut the cut the game to one possession and kind of threatened what had been a comfortable lead in the third quarter. Um, you said the last possession or the third quarter? Uh, no, so on the last few possessions, what's going through your mind oh, when the league was once comfortable and all of a sudden it's a one possession? Um, the, the winning game, I mean, I couldn't complain about, you know, the, the, the run they made in the third quarter because, you know, I had to, you know, got to stay in the moment, but uh, just wanted to win the game. You know, they did a good job of, of battling back then, you know, making it a, a tough game. Did you guys exhale a little bit there in the third when you got up? Yeah, we kind of took our foot off the gas, and um, but they did a good job. You know, I think we, we got some great shots, but we, we stopped hitting them, and they started making threes, <laughs> and you know, and, and Shea got to the free throw line a lot, so you know, it stopped the clock and got them a chance to get back in the game. You're shooting real well from three now, but what do you remember about the beginning of the season and how you were able to kind of push yourself out of that early slump and, and what you relied on at that point? Um, just me knowing how much work I put in, uh, I knew I can shoot, you know, I just, I wasn't getting the results I wanted, but my mechanics was good and, um, I just had to get my legs up under me and just shoot with confidence and, you no, know, shooting the ball is mostly mental. Um, you got to think it's going in before you shoot. When you see a teammate like Luca, who's now kind of in that same position of not making as many you would like. Do you, do you say things to him? Do you yeah. kind of rely on that experience, or do you just let him do his thing? No, I always say something to him because we, you know, we, we shoot together a lot. Mm -hmm. And, um, no, he, he, he a great player. He going, he going, he, he, one of them games going to come where he go, you know, seven for 10 for three or six for 10 for three. So it, it's coming. 
you know, Luca can fill it up in bunches. So even if it's three not going, he, he got other ways to affect the game. A man had three blocks like the first three the first three possessions of the game. You know, so you no, know, he been guarding. Even though he ain't been making shots, he been guarding a lot and a lot better than you know what people be saying. How does your look like your left ankle got rolled up on there again? Yeah, he just kicked me. Uh, not on purpose, obviously, but I came back, he kicked me. I just sprained a little bit, but nothing. What, what do you do with a game like this where just nothing's going down for you? Win the game. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I always say, win is a win, man. You win, you win by 30, you win by 2 or 1. Uh, you know, it's, it's a win. And I try to. Uh, do other things better than because obviously I couldn't make <laughs> nothing, nothing at all. The last couple of games, it's just mental thing, you know, I gotta be better than that. Is there anything you felt with the misses that explained why it was happening? I can't explain, man. It's very frustrating for me. Uh, I missed like two open, three open layups, which I can't explain. Uh, I don't know what's happening, but you know, I gotta be better. You got a rope. Comfortably there in the third quarter. What uh, what do you see that what happened then? I mean, I left uh, really just to you know get my mind together, and then uh, I saw we were up eleven. Uh, you know, I don't know. They just made a run, but as I say, you know, win is a win. You mentioned it's a mental thing when you do run into the tunnel or when you are at practice or shooting around. What do you work on mentally to to kind of get yourself into a space where you feel like you can play well? I think in a game, you know, you just think too much. I think too much. Uh, you just got to shoot it and believe in it. Uh, I know I can make shots. Uh, so it's, I just stop overthinking the shooting and just shoot your, shoot your shot. You have more triple doubles than the rest of the players in Maverick history put together. It's a pretty crazy stat when you think of that. I mean, I think I got to shoot way better. <laughs> <laughs> I got to mix one in. Uh, <laughs> At some point, uh, you know, that's I always say, you know, if we get a win, it's it's great. Leonardo on Zoom, and then we'll be done. Luca, te saludo a Leonardo Toros desde Perú. Felicidades por la victoria. Luca, ¿cuál fue la mentalidad del equipo en los últimos minutos cuando el partido estuvo bastante cerrado? Eh, bueno, eh, la verdad que cometimos un poco de errores, pero de eso se aprende. Eh, como digo, hemos ganado, eso es lo que importa, y creo que eh, podemos aprender de esto. It looked like you came off the, the court with like four minutes remaining through the bowl or frustrated. What was going through your mind there? What, what kind of frustrated you? I don't know if I've seen you like that before. Yeah. Yeah. No. It just uh, um, just an internal thing that happens, you know. Players get, get frustrated with things. And, uh, uh, yeah, it's not, nothing, nothing special. It's just uh, I got a bit frustrated at that moment. And and that was it. And uh, just we moved on. So this this pretty much it. Next. Were you surprised you didn't play the rest of the, the game after that? Uh, yeah. I mean, I stayed ready. Yes, I had my heat back on, and I w I was ready in case if if I was needed. Was was the frustration over a, a defensive cover? I mean, it happened after SGA dunked. Yeah. I'm guessing something to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just uh. Uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit of that, a little bit of everything, and um, and just somebody on the bench said something, and that kind of got my reaction. You guys have a huge lead and then lose that and hang on in the game. Kind of a lesson learned uh, in that sort of thing. Yeah, we've been trying to learn those lessons for three years now <laughs> since I've been here. <laughs> Uh, but I think we're getting better. We're we're more more poised, uh, you know, in those moments when 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 things are not going our way, uh, a bit more experienced, and I think that's what helped us to win to win this game late. Uh, Leonardo and Espanol, go ahead. Hola, baby. Te saluda Leonardo Torres desde Perú. Felicidades por la victoria. Baby, ¿cuáles crees que fueron las claves del triunfo de esta noche frente a OKC? Diría que nuestra defensa otra vez. Eh, nuestro ataque no ha estado muy bien hoy. Hemos tirado por debajo del 40% de, de pista, pero nuestra defensa ha estado ahí y, y eso nos, nos, nos ha hecho ganar el partido al final.